Hello Mzansi and welcome to our Mzansi. People on Twitter have been speculating whether or not it might have been a woman who shot and killed aka. This came after a video from another angle emerged and was posted on social media. Meanwhile, a team of KZN detectives is reportedly watching hundreds of hours of video footage, interviewing scores of people and checking on social media for any and every clue that could lead them to the arrest of people behind the murder. KZN Provincial Police Commissioner has said that detectives were in the process of tracing the movements of the hitman backward in an effort to identify the killers. He believed AKA was the main target of the hit and his friend Motswani was struck during crossfire. Mkwana said the strategy of the police is to trace the incident from the shooting backward. He said police have a massive amount of data to piece together. He also continued detectives are going through a massive amount of data to piece together the events leading up to the shooting and after the shooting he furthermore said there was no doubt in his mind AKA's murder was a contract killing. Mkwana said that the police did know was that AKA had an enemy that wanted him dead. The police commissioner said they are looking at his lifestyle who were his friends, who he was in contact with, and who are the people he probably might have had a conflict with that wanted him dead. In his last post, the rapper took a photo of a seafood platter and pinned his location on Wishon, Florida, where he died as he walked out of the restaurant at around 2200 hours.